Yulan Tru and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to talk about the Forbidden Tech Refinery. But before I get into the topic, the little reminder you're used to, if you are not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. I've reached the thousand subscriber mark already, but I'm happy about every new subscriber, of course. And when you do so, don't forget to click this little bell so that you get a notification when a new video is out. But today I want to talk, as I said, about the Forbidden Tech Refinery. And you find it on the top left, the ships, officers, command, factions, items and refinery. And if you click that, you have a long list of refineries and I talk about each and every one of those in, in videos uh, over time. I did some already, I will do more. And uh, on the bottom there is Forbidden Tech. And if you click there, you see different Forbidden Tech refineries depending on the one hand on uh, the level of your court of Q and then also depending on uh, some of those forbidden texts that you got. You see that there's a court of Q level 21 to 30. That's where my court of Q is at the moment. I'm still working on the 25. And there you can exchange those uh, forbidden tech refinery credits for forbidden tech fusion rods. Uh, those credits you get um, when you do the dailies with a, with your um, Court of Q trials, for example. Then you see there's one for control seeker probes, tier one. I do not have it, so I cannot do that. I think I do not have the control seeker probes and that's why I cannot do it. Then there's the S31 torpedo pods. That one I got um, at the time and so I can exchange credits for Forbidden Tech tier up catalysts here like I could with the control seeker probes. Then there's the dual photon warheads. If I had them I could do the same. Then there's the Court of Q level 21 to 30 refinery for the credits so you get tier up catalysts as well for these credits just for the level of your court of Q. Then there is a proto matter exchange um, for emblems of assessment that's what you need to to tier up the court of Q um, or to 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 upgrade the court of Q and that is just because of my operations level that it happens here. Then there's one for the Ferengi whip. I made a video on the Ferengi whip and everybody uh, that commented on it already said you you forgot the uh, refinery. Uh, well, I usually do a different refinery videos, that's why. But this refinery is, yeah, there's a lot of nice stuff in it. Not only forbidden tech fragments, there's a lot of nice stuff in there I cannot show you now because I still have to wait two hours to do it, but it's not that important because I never got anything else than those uh, rare fragments that I need later when I reach the level 25. I got nothing else of those nice things in there. Never. No exchange ever I did so far ever got me something else but those fragments. So there's really great stuff in there. Big, big amounts of proto matter and whatever that I can just get for concentrated latinum because there you exchange con concentrated latinum for forbidden tech fragments, but I never got anything else. So all the nice stuff I see in there is nice that I see it in there, but I never got any of that. Only those uh, fragments. And then there's um, a refinery for the Breen Dampener. There you get um, tier 6 Mantis rewards for the refinery credits. I can, cannot show you that because I didn't buy the Breen Dampener. And then we have certain things for Court of Q level 25. Um, before that, I should say there, there is one for, there are a few for Court of Q level 10. I don't know if they're still in there. No, they disappear as soon as you got them. There's the same for, no, not that. Oh, oh I can show. Can I click the one I cannot do? No, that's why. But the ones I don't have, I can show. That was the uh, Breen one. 
but there are also Court of Q level 10 fragments in here uh, where you can use fragments to get certain um, parts of uh, forbidden tech as well. I got them already, that's why they're not showing here anymore. Uh, I haven't reached level 25, so I couldn't exchange. That's why there are still the court of level uh, Q level 25 ones in here, where I in the end can get Borg nanoplating, the Klingon mining drill and the melon extractor and the Borg alcove and the Romulan mining laser and yeah, and the Romulan mining laser when I reach um, court of Q level 25. And here I can exchange those rare fragments and there I have to say yes, I get them from, from the Ferengi whip for more shards for these um, forbidden texts. And that's why I'm working on um, Court of Q level 25 at the moment. And later when I reach level 40 Court of Q, I can exchange epic fragments for red matter, for time crystal and for the Thaleran radiation. Um, if I, I don't have them yet, that's why they're still in here. Uh, I didn't buy them uh, in the shop, so they, they are still there when I reach Court of Q level 40. And here I can exchange epic fragments for this um, matters. You see um, the red matter one that was a nice one with the damage against players. So I'm looking forward to get them, but I still don't have them. So that's why I cannot defeat everyone here. But as you can see, there's a lot in here and you have the chance to get a lot of these um, uh, forbidden tags through the refinery alone. There are others like the Ferengi whip and uh, the Breen dampener that are not included. You cannot get shards here, but a lot of things you need for upgrading and for for tearing up your forbidden um, tech is in this refinery. If it's worth buying those um, forbidden techs that free up certain refineries here, like the Control Seeker, the S31 torpedo, the dual proton warhead, the um, Ferengi whip or the Breen dampener, it's completely up to you. I know that some people are spending a lot of money. I'm Congratulations if you can. And um, other people are not spending anything. So I always want to want to show also what you can get without spending any money. Although, as I said in several videos already, of course, we need to be grateful to those who spend a lot of money on the game. So that Scopely, which is a business, does earn enough money to continue this game. They need to make profits. Otherwise, they wouldn't make this game. And we all obviously like this game. Otherwise, we first of all, wouldn't play it. And, and uh, secondly, you wouldn't watch, watch my videos on them probably because if you're not playing, um, you probably would not be that interested in, in, in all these things. So we have things here you can only get by buying at the moment and other things that you can get for free. And it's everyone's decision how to play. As I said, I, I spent a little in, in the first times when I played. And now when I'm making these videos, of course, I'm spending a little more sometimes with uh, sponsors like the last time with the Borg Cube uh, was a crazy friend that immediately wanted to have a video on that one. But uh, that's my choice because of, for making these videos and, and what I want to show my viewers here. But everyone has to decide for themselves. But it's all possible. It's possible to play without paying anything and it's possible to play with paying a hell of a lot. What you prefer, what you can do is up to you, of course, and everyone can can play this game in his own speed. In my alliance, we have people of different kinds. We have none of the whales, though, so we have no one in my alliance, unfortunately, that spends uh, five digit amounts <laughs> on the game. Otherwise, we would be stronger, but we, we do cope well. Don't worry. Um, we, we are doing well, even without. But um, it doesn't matter. You're not judged by by uh, your spending. Everybody can have the fun the way they want. And that's the important thing. Have fun in this game. And if you want to add something um, to the 
Forbidden Tech Refinery, for example, tell me about experiences if you bought stuff I haven't bought, for example, or your experience with a with a Ferengi Whip Refinery, because um, none of that that I see there I, I usually get. And maybe it's different for you, I don't know. Um, or if you have questions or have a request for, for another video, or just want to say hi and where you're from, for example, because I'm a curious guy. I know there are people from all over the world watching my videos, and I'm always curious where you're from. Um, I do know that that uh, about half of my viewers are from the United States, so um, big uh, hello to, to the States as well, of course. Um, but it's interesting where people are coming from. In, in the analytics, as I can see the regions. But I'm always interested uh, on, on, on the real locations because it's, it's fun to know people from all over this nice little planet in our big, big galaxy. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.